This video will be an introduction to the glider kit called the Stratus Gale. Um, it's actually a scaled up version of the other uh, rocket glider we did called the Cirrus Breeze. I did the Cirrus Breeze uh, probably about 2013. It's a slide wing rocket glider where the wing slides forward to transition from a boost to glide. Um, the rocket glider all comes down in one piece. Uh, that's the differentiation between that and a boost glider. A boost glider is allowed to separate into two pieces according to the NAR competition rules. Um, but rocket gliders um, are a little bit more challenging to build. Uh, the Cirrus Breeze is a skill level five kit, um, but it performs so well that people asked us to do a bigger version to use 18 millimeter motors instead of 13 millimeter motors. This is an 18 millimeter motor. So as you can see, it's, it's very similar. Um, it's just bigger, um, but a lot has changed since I developed that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I wanted to make this even simpler to build. The Cirrus Breeze was a skill level five kit. This is a skill level four kit. And the reason is I, I created some changes to make it easier to build. Um, for one thing, the wing now has uh, little tabs on it so that it fits perfectly level with the slide box. This is the slide box right here. The slide box allows the wing to slide back and forth along the fuselage boom. Uh, so that's one of the big differences. Um, where th this had four panels of wings, this one only has three. So there's less sanding to do. Um, and then on the, um, the engine tube right here, um, all this up here is laser cut, where on the Cirrus Breeze you had to cut that hole yourself. Uh, in addition, there's a, a tab and a slot on the tube, kind of like through the wall fins, so that that tube is perfectly straight with the fuselage boom of the glider. So everything goes together a little bit faster. Um, like the Cirrus Breeze, what makes this rocket glider unique is the curved boom right here. Um, at boost, the wing starts at the back position. And the reason for this is just like a regular rocket, the center of pressure has to be behind the center of gravity. So we move the wing back to move the center of pressure back for boost. And that gives you a nice straight boost. Um, and then the wing slides forward and the center pressure moves forward to the, to the center of gravity position, which is about right here. And then it transitions to a nice glide. But there's one other thing that needs to happen is that the tail, when it's in the glide position, has to be up a little bit. So the back edge has to be up. And this forces the tail downward and it forces the, the glider to level out. So if it's in a steep dive, it can pull out of the dive, and that's what you need. You need that up elevator. Um, but because everything is fixed, what we do on both the Stratus Gale and the Cirrus Breeze is we slide the wing forward, and it, and it rides up a little curve. And so the wing is actually pitched up about three degrees relative to the tail, and that does the same thing as having the tail up. So it allows it to pull out of the dive. The advantage is everything in boost configuration is at zero degrees angle of attack. So you get a nice straight boost. So you get that nice straight boost and then you get the ability to pull out of a dive. And that's what makes the Stratus Gale and the Cirrus Breeze unique. So again, this is the Stratus Gale, the Gale like in Gale Force Winds where this is just a breeze. Um, and Stratus is like uh, the cloud stratosphere. Um, so that's the name of the rocket, Stratus Gale. You'll find it at Apogee Rockets at www.apogeerockets.com. 